investigation tonight. The city is asking questions about a donation Ward 8 Councilman Trayon White made to a Nation of Islam event. And that's not all. WUSA 9's Michael Quander joins us live now with more. Mike? Yeah, the payment is raising eyebrows with auditors and people in the Jewish community aren't happy about it either. Well, we're just about done with our patience with him. Because is your patience running thin here? Oh, my patience is very thin. It's it's almost depleted. The Jewish Community Relations Council says it tried working with Councilman Trayon White, but says things only seem to be getting worse. These three things happened in a period of one month. Let me explain. First, the councilman claimed a rich Jewish family controlled the weather. The Rothschilds controlling the climate to create natural disasters so they can pay for it and own the cities, man. Be careful. You know, White apologized for that and agreed to go on a tour of the Holocaust Museum. But this is where the second issue comes in. White left that guided tour early because he says a reporter was following him around and taking notes. And I just feel comfortable doing a tour like that and seeing what I saw in the experience, what, I, what I'm feeling emotionally um, by I know, reporters taking notes. As part of his job description as an elected official, he has to be willing to accept public scrutiny, which means some Sometimes the media is going to show up, even if you don't want it, and you've got to just deal with it. And here's the third issue. This report with the D.C. Office of Campaign Finance reveals White donated $500 to a Nation of Islam event in Chicago. At the event, the group's leader said powerful Jews are his enemy. People say controversial stuff all the time, and I don't agree with, it, with the things that some people say, including people in Louis Farrakhan, but the reality is that uh, these brothers are on the front line fighting the same causes I fight for. But still, that donated money came from White's constituent services account, and the law says that that fund is only supposed to be used to benefit D.C. residents, which is why the city is now asking questions. White's office has until next Thursday to explain the donation before any action may be taken, and we're continuing to ask questions. We've reached out to every single council member, and we wanted to know how they're responding to all of this. And a few of them have uh, written us back, and they want to take some serious action. You want to stick around to hear that part coming up tonight at 6. All right, we'll see you then.